What's good, y'all? This is Joe, and I come back at you another video. So for this video, I want to share with you guys a true story. So this story happened um, in the last like two weeks or so. I get involved, you know, myself, my mom, um, and essentially, of course, I'll, I'll dive into the story soon. But essentially, the main takeaway, I guess you can say, is that for a lot of people, when there's certain things that they want in life they need to have a logical reason or explanation as far as how it's going to arrive or how it's going to be delivered or how it's going to make its way to them. Otherwise, they begin to lose hope. They begin to think that it's not on its way when in reality, it's a complete lie. In reality, it's it's already well on its way, right? Because it's something that you want. It's something that you believe would enhance your experience here on earth. And I'm just here to tell you that the way the world universe god the way that all works is that a lot of times your blessings comes from unexpected sources right like from unexpected just like you literally wouldn't even be able to predict how certain things are going to unfold for you and this true story that i'm going to share with you guys like showcases that right so and funny enough it, it wasn't like a blessing for me or even like my, my mom i guess directly but we just felt so much gratitude and it just felt amazing for us to you know give to to people in need so basically the story goes that about a year ago or, or within like a year or two ago I, I had a tablet right a samsung tablet and the reason why i bought the tablet is because I just wanted like a bigger screen to watch my shows, right? So, of course, I have like Netflix and Hulu, and I would watch the shows on my phone. Like sometimes I'll eat dinner and I'll just like have the show playing on my phone. Like I'll watch a show with my sister. Like we play like Bob's Burger or something, whatever, something silly. And um, I remember telling myself like, yeah, I want a tablet just so I can like, if I want to watch something, I can just put on a bigger screen. Like I don't necessarily want to like watch on my computer. Like if I want to just you know, take it with me or go somewhere, right? I want to have the opportunity to just watch something on a bigger screen. Like, that's literally the only reason why I want a tablet. So, long story short, I ordered a tablet from Amazon and the tablet arrived and I swear it was a used tablet because the first tablet that came was literally like, it was locked, like it had a passcode and everything. So I contact them, I'm like, listen, I bought a new tablet, you gave me a used one, like send me a new one. So then about a week, a week later from when I ordered it, I get the tablet again and they say it was new. I don't believe it. I still believe they sent me a used one, um, but that's neither here nor there. So essentially as I was using the tablet, like everything was fine, but I felt like a couple months into having the tablet, um, I just felt that it would lose its battery like too fast for it to be a new tablet. Um, and I just felt like I, I constantly found myself charging it. It just, it like operated slow as far as, you know, obviously for a lot of us, we have like the new modern like iPhones, right? Like those go super fast, but the tablets and everything, like that tablet in particular was moving like a dinosaur. So long story short, I eventually put it down and like it was just in my room collecting dust for many months, probably like a year, right? So then as I was, you know, cleaning things out, I seen a tablet and then I didn't really need it. So I asked my mom, I'm like, hey, you know, do you, do you want this tablet? Cause usually my mom, she, um, she does, she likes donating things to people in need. And, um, you know, there's obviously something that she can give to someone else. Like she's more than happy to, to give it. So usually if there's things I don't need, I would like offer it to my mom so that she can like find something to give it to. Right. So she asked for a tablet. I give her a tablet and a charger. Right. And I like reset everything. So it's factory reset. Cool. So after I gave her the tablet, I want to say, basically two days go by and then she walks in my room with the tablet and um she works with she works with students at a school and so she tells me that essentially there's a student in her classroom uh let's just say his name is like john i honestly don't even know his name but let's say his name is john right she says there's a student named john in her class like young kids like probably like elementary school and um she was saying that she spoke with him and that he used to tell her that he always wanted like some sort of device 
Um, I'm guessing maybe it was some sort of iPhone, but it was just some sort of device that he's always wanted and that, you know, his his mom just could never get it for him, right? Just because of finances. And so my mom, she, she told him, she's like, hey, why don't you just like, you know, like your birthday passed, why don't you just ask her for Christmas? And then eventually, you know, I'm sure the kid went back, you know, asked the mom. And then the next day the kid returns to school and, and tells my mom that he asked, but that the mom wouldn't be able to do it because they just can't financially. Um, and my mom goes on to tell me that the mother, of course she has that one child, but she's also pregnant with another child. And, you know, of course this is a family that's lower income that, you know, may have difficulty making ends meet. And so when my mom heard that, that, that story and everything, of course she remembered immediately. She remembered about the tablet that I had given her. And so that's when, you know, my mom decided to contact the mother first and ask the mother if it was okay for her to give um, John the tablet just because he's always wanted some sort of like electronic device, right? So he can like watch shows and play games on and all these things. And, you know, when my mom, my mom told the woman, that woman just broke down crying and was like super thankful and was grateful for everything. And, you know, of course my mom felt really good about it because she was able to help someone in need. And of course, although this isn't necessarily like one of the actual needs of like having shelter, food, water, right? Like need, like for survival, right? This is obviously something that a child always wanted. And when my mom told me the story, when she came in the room and basically broke everything down to me, I had a smile on my face. And I was like, yeah, like instantly like, yeah, like give it to him. Because I know, like I've been in that situation before growing up. And I know what it's like to feel as though you want something and not knowing whether it's going to ever make its way to you, right? Because we're always looking for logical ways. And in this case, right? The, the child, John, he's in he's in elementary school. And of course, when you're a kid, you're probably thinking, if anything costs money, your first, like, your, the first thought that comes to your mind is that, oh, it has to come from my parents because it costs money. And like, if my parents say they can't buy it, then I'm never gonna get it, right? Like that's that's very logical for people to, to, to believe. And even as we've, you know, grown older and wiser, right? Like we've lived many more years of, of many more years here on earth. There's still plenty of people who believe that to be the case where they need to have an explanation for things. Otherwise they don't think that what they want is ever gonna make its way to them and i just hope that this example that i'm sharing with you that you you cherish and you take it with you right to remind you that sometimes you don't need to have an explanation sometimes you can just want something and just be excited and look forward to something and it'll somehow some way be delivered to you and you you don't need to know the method you don't need to know you don't really need to know anything right you can just operate excited feeling as though Christmas is in the next hour and your presents are wrapped under the tree, right? And there's certain things you want. You can still go through life being happy, being optimistic, feeling eager that somehow, some way is going to make its way to you because you are a blessed person. You are lucky and great things happen to you and you deserve great things to unfold for your life. So just imagine how it must feel for John to essentially feel crushed that he wanted a, an electronic device for so long to play games and to like, you know, just have fun and like watch shows and do whatever on a, on a tablet. Um, and then being told by your mom that you won't be able to afford it even for Christmas when like, you know, usually kids try to, kids believe that they can like get anything for Christmas and then to be told that they can't get it right. Like that's obviously not a great feeling. Um, so I'm sure he was like very let down, but Funny enough, right? Like this was all unfolding perfectly for him behind the scenes so that we can deliver him something that he's always asked for. Now, it may not be 
exactly what he was because I, I I don't know like I don't know the person I don't know the kid, um, but it's like that's still something that can suffice because I know he'll still be excited and I know like he'll be grateful for it and have so much fun with that and of course by the mom breaking down crying and tearing and and hugging my mom like I know that meant the world to her because you know if she's already facing financial hardship with one child and she's pregnant with another one right then that's that can be a lot weighing on her shoulders as far as like trying to make ends meet for the for the children so for me I felt super good it put a smile on my face um it meant the world to me being able to me and my mom right being able to help a family in need and you know one man's trash can be another another man's treasure right so for me I don't necessarily just like throwing things out right if it's something that can go to use by someone else like I'm more than happy you know to to donate it and in a case like this right like this was the universe working its magic for someone else which uh, you know they I'm sure the kid didn't have any idea was already under the impression that the device he wanted wasn't going to make its way to him and somehow some way it did and he's much happier now and you know things are, are going well for him so let this be a metaphor for your life right like for me i'm hoping these videos can leave you with a smile on your face and have you change your outlook on life right because everything around us like we're all connected like everything around us everything on the planet even us even the objects all around like everything is literally energy like this whole world is energy so that's why everything is connected to one another that's why like for a case like like john it's just imagine being surprised by and and you know my mom like she's new to that school like she's probably been to that like been at that school maybe a little over a month but like under two months she's been there right and then all right just imagine from john's perspective that you already you're not expecting to get the electronic device because your parents said that they like like your mom can't get it for you and then a woman who's new at the school that you pretty much like just met and just got to know surprises you with one of your your dream gifts like it's stuff like this where these things just don't happen by accident and that's the main point that i'm trying to get at so i'm hoping these videos leave you with a smile on your face and let you know that that this is a friendly place this is a friendly world like don't focus on the stuff that you're seeing on the media like i want you guys to begin falling in love with your life and falling in love with the the beautiful things that are happening from day to day and the blessings that are happening all the time because even right now in this moment even if it feels like nothing's unfolded for you that you're making no progress just think of john right think of you can think of yourself as being john and just thinking like my present is right there right the, the christmas she's right there all the gifts are wrapped like all i gotta do is just wait just wait one more hour and i'll get it right that i, I already see the gift the gifts are right there my blessed like it's right there so what reason do i have to be worried what reason do i have to be concerned and that's when you're in your true power because when you're smiling, when you're feeling good, when you're not worried, right? That's when you're at the best state for great things to happen to you, right? Because even if you may want certain things to unfold for you, you're not thinking about it. You're not worried about it. You're just having fun and just enjoying everything about life right now. So there's a lot of people on the planet that are grumpy, a lot of people that just wake up and you know it's not to say that they're not dealing with things right but at the end of the day whether it's being happy whether it's being sad right at every moment from day to day like that's that's your decision to, to decide right you can decide whether or not you want to be happy or sad that is entirely up to you regardless of what anyone says regardless of this person made me feel x this person made me feel y though you're in control of your feelings so you can decide how you want to feel you can decide if you want to be sad in this moment because the things you want haven't unfolded for you or you can be excited knowing that everything's already taken care of because it is so just want to leave you guys with that video um if you enjoyed the video do leave a like subscribe comment down below any thoughts you might have so we can keep the dialogue going um 
do turn on post notifications i'm posting more videos soon and do share this with anyone who you think would appreciate this so once again this is joel and i'm out see you guys next time